shoelaces. <laughs> Look, these were sent down to me a little while ago from Andrea. Andrea? Andrew. Andrea, too cool. T-shirt quilts. Cheers, Andrea. Now look <laughs> at all of these shoelaces. <laughs> now there is some craziness in this box of goodies. Up your game. Oh, I will. So I think Andrea wants me to make something funkadelic with these laces. The question is, what? I reckon these would be pretty cool actually in a project. I've no idea what kind of project, but I reckon we should get these in resin. Now I think first things first, what we need to do is pick out all the cool, funky colors. Enough to fill our bowl. What do you reckon? That looks pretty, pretty cool. I wonder how these would turn on a lathe. We filled this up with resin. Could be kind of a bit like the handkerchief bowl. Remember we made the handkerchief bowl? If you haven't seen that one, I'll leave a link below. But this could be pretty similar. Right, now a lot of people ask me why I just pour the resin in and don't use a blank. Now, there's a reason for that. So, if I put this blank in here, as it is, then yeah, that's fine. It could potentially go in there like that. But it's not really gonna save me a lot of resin. What you wanna do is put the whole blank right inside, real chunky, because if we're gonna hollow this out, then, you know, we're not gonna see any of this. So yeah, it would be a waste of resin. But the problem is, if this hits the bottom, or, you know, or if it hits the side, and this will move about, you know, things sometimes it does move around. So I tend to not bother really, because I don't want to disrupt the, the actual, you know, piece. Um, in this case, it might be right, because I might be able to make myself a little pocket and get the resin down under there. And then we could put something like this in there, but we probably want a bigger piece than this. So let's try this, this time. Right, this will do us. So what I'm gonna do so I'm going to try to create, but I don't want to go right down the bottom because we want to see all of these shoelaces. Um, but this will definitely save us a good chunk <laughs> of, of resin. They might actually not need all these shoelaces actually. I'll take some of these out now. <laughs> Put too much in here. Right, now for this crazy shoelace project, we're gonna be using some entropy A and entropy B mixed together. Know what I mean, know what I mean? Okay. Okay, folks, so this is the first pour with our shoelaces. Now, I've used the fast hardener again. 
I was kind of hoping I was going to uh, sort of fill this to the top, but it's still going to need some more. But I don't really want to risk, like I have done in the past, uh, putting more resin in um, and it going all funny. I want this to be really crystal, crystal clear. And I think the only way to do that is to leave this now, put this in the pressure pot. It looks pretty cool. Um, and then we will come back and I will add another load in afterwards. I think that's the best bet. I think that's uh, the safest bet anyway. <laughs> then just let that squeal. Okay, folks, we are back, ready for the first reveal of this shoelace project. Oh, there's a lot of wind in there. <laughs> just the same as it was when it went in. <laughs> right, there we go. So, as predicted, the resin has, not the resin, but the shoelaces have just soaked up all the resin. But that's fine, because then the next pour will be just jubbly. We won't need a lot, I doubt, so uh, let's get a mix in. Right, so just mixing up a little bit of resin at the moment. This is some Entropy Fast, so uh, we won't need, shouldn't need too much. <laughs> Although, you never know with these projects. So I'll go and put it in and it'll just disappear. Um, no, my luck, anyway. So to give it a good mix, always mix up your resin like really, really well. Scrape all the edges. And even when you think it's done, do it a little bit more. Know what I'm saying. So it shouldn't take too much more, but I don't know, this is looking like I might need some more. Yep. <laughs> oh dear, okay, get a little bit more resin then. Looking, looking at it now, like, well, that resin's gone. I reckon I'm gonna need even more than that. And the size of the bowl is obviously quite big, but don't forget it's got a chunky piece of wood in it. Let's bring it. And all the other resin that I put in the beginning is all soaked up. Okay, <laughs> I am gonna need some more resin, but I'm not too sure if I feel comfortable putting in any more at this stage because it's had quite a bit um, and I don't want it to react like it did before. And there's also got some bubbles going on here, some white bubbles. I don't really know what that is. I don't really want that in the project. So I'm hoping that the pressure pot will take them out. Um, as you can see, oh, as you can see, we're, we're pretty close to the top, to be honest. Do I risk putting in a little bit more? Because it probably doesn't need a huge amount more. Ugh. Um, um, I think we'll pop it in the pressure pot now and then we'll get it filled up here because that's probably going to take another 300, I reckon. And I just don't want to push my luck. I'm hoping the pressure is going to take out the bubbles in this. Two days later. Right, the laces are in the pot for the third time. <laughs> I just don't want to take any chances this time round. Last time, we had all sorts of problems with the project. Let's hope this time we don't get tied up in knots.
I'm feeling kind of good about this project and I reckon it's gonna look really cool. These laces could create all sorts of funky effects. So stick around to see how this one turns out. And there it is, folks. So let's just pop this out of the mold and see what we've got. Should, oh, look at that. Drops out beautifully. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Does look pretty crazy. It's a little bit wonky winky. Not sure we can sort that out on the lathe. I'm excited to tell you that today's sponsor is Surfshark VPN. First of all, these guys are giving you 83% yeah. discount, plus three months extra free. Now Surfshark's not only lightning fast, it's also really easy to use with a ton of benefits, such as keeping your data safe and secure by using its two-factor authentication. Surfshark have over 3,200 servers across 65 countries, ensuring that you'll find a server wherever you are. Ever been on holiday and wanted to catch up with your favourite Netflix programmes but can't because you're not in your country? <laughs> well with Surfshark you can. All you gotta do is click a few buttons and boom you are in watching your own Netflix account checking out your favorite programs. Happy days. Also, Surfshark VPN encrypts your data, so if you're on a public Wi-Fi, nobody can snoop about and steal your data. Now that is pretty important these days. Now just having one subscription to Surfshark allows you to install it and run it on multiple devices. There are apps for all platforms, PC, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, Smart TV, Amazon Fire, I could go on forever, baby. They have 24 seven live customer support, if you need them, of course. But the bonus for you folks here is that these guys are offering you 83% off, plus an extra three months for free, just by using my link. Know what I'm saying? Now all you gotta do, folks, is head on over to my link, which is surfshark.deals forward slash Nick Zemeni to grab yourself some amazing discount. This is a really great product and service, folks. I use Surfshark VPN all the time, and especially when I'm away. Cheers, Surfshark. Good old Mike Walt, always handy in the workshop. Let's do this. Now I am curious to see how these shoelaces are gonna turn on the lathe. Is it gonna be like the handkerchiefs? Or is it just not gonna turn at all and be another failed project? Either way, stick around to find out. Right, check this out, folks. <laughs> so I started cutting into the shoelaces. Um, surprisingly soft. Well, not surprisingly, but I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, quite easy to cut into. Um, sort of very similar to the handkerchiefs. And it's making these really cool kind of patterns at the moment, which is quite smart. So, um, Little bit of chip out, but you normally get that initially anyway. And it's starting to get nice and round now, so I can sort of crank up the old speed. I reckon this is gonna look pretty wicked, especially when we get right down, you know, inside it and start hollowing it out. It is gonna look pretty neat. So I'm gonna keep on shaping this around, uh, get this ready to flip over. I'm really kind of intrigued to see how this is gonna look. <laughs> I hope you are too.
Right, this is looking pretty sick, <laughs> as the youngsters would say. I mean, there's a few little niggles, uh, these little holes around here, which we could try and get out. Obviously, these uh, shoelaces have obviously created some bubbles along the way. Uh, I never make things easy for myself, do I? <laughs> there's always a drama in the Zametti workshop. Um, but that's because I like to experiment with different things and obviously you guys send me this stuff down and I, you know, I've got to just chuck it on the lathe. Know what I mean? I mean, look at this. It does look pretty cool. So I think I'm going to try and get a few more of these little, these little niggles out. Um, try and smooth them off a little bit. Um, got that ready for my little emblem, which I'm going to pop in there. And again, anyone don't know where I get these from, I know I get lots of questions about these. These are from Vaughn Hanken. <laughs> uh, he's on Etsy, Google him, uh, and he provides me with all these kind of things. They're so cool. Um, that just sits in there nicely, that's gonna look neat. Uh, and you can make anything for you, anything. He makes lots of stuff. I got these from him, um, some more stuff in here. Uh, which he's made me. Oh, look at the goodies in here. Woohoo! Um, you can make these. These are really cool. Look at that. Nice. Upside down. Nice. And then these ones as well with numbers on them, which I have been using. I sort of stopped a little bit in the moment. So, yeah. Want an emblem? Go to him. I'll leave a link below. Right. Let's carry on with this. Oh, there's a little bit of little shoelace metal in there <laughs> um, and uh, see where we go with it. I sort of kind of curved it a little bit around here to make it a little bit different because sort of getting a bit bored of the old original bowl look. Um, obviously this just looks like it's turning into a bowl so far. Um, so <laughs> but um, hey, I reckon it's going to be a pretty funkadelic bowl at that. Magnum. Right now what I'm going to do is a little trick uh, for you. Uh, some of you will know this already. It's got these little holes in there where these little bubbles are formed. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little bit of super glue, CA glue, in the holes. And I'm going to just use a bit of accelerator on that to get it to set pretty quick. And zoom you out a bit. There we go. Um, and this will just kind of just disguise, really, the little baby bubbles that are in there that we can't really get rid of. Because if I keep cutting into it to get rid of them, then you just create more of them. Because <laughs> they're, they're all over the place in this type of project. Right, there we go. There's all my CA glue in there. Now, you might have to do this a couple of times, um, but uh, it really does work. Just gets rid of those little... Little niggles. It's only, it's only really for tiny holes, really. You don't, want, you don't want to be filling a massive hole with CA glue. Trust me, it just won't work. Right, there we go, folks. No more little holes. Well, a couple, but pretty much we've got rid of most of them. And you can keep on putting the uh, CA glue on if you want to keep on getting rid of the holes, but there's a couple of little tiny ones there, little one there. So I might put a couple of more bits in there. A couple more bits. <laughs> I might squish. A little bit more CA glue inside, and then look at this. <laughs> and then we'll get on with some Yorkshire. Oh, yeah.
Well, now we're done with the marker meshing, we're gonna be sticking some flies, shillowax cream all over the place. Look at this! <laughs> now this project is tying together nicely. Right, I've sanded this inside now and I'm just using some Abalon pads for the inside until we get onto our mica meshing again to finish this little puppy off. Ready for this? <laughs> now I'm fine. The shoelace bowl. <laughs> Closer look. Look at the detail in this. Now that does look pretty groovy. So there it is, folks. Thank you to Andrea, Andrew, two sex. Andrea, 
from Too Cool For School t-shirts. www.toocooltshirtquilts.com Happy days. Well, I hope you like this one, folks. These were sent down to me a little while ago uh, uh, with a little note in there saying, hope you can make something fun. I think we had a bit of fun with this one uh, and I'm pretty pleased with the way this one turned out. Uh, could have made the bowl maybe a little bit deeper maybe, but I don't know, I was getting a little bit kind of paranoid <laughs> that the thing was gonna fly off the lathe. I don't know, sometimes with resin projects, and it is more with the resin projects that, you know, they can get caught up uh, in the tools sometimes. And if it gets caught up, you know, it will just kind of rip it off the lathe. I've had a couple of incidents, incidents, incidents <laughs> that happened to me. Um, and also, especially when like the record project that we did, that obviously the glue, uh, the resin, not the glue, well it's kind of a glue, is it? Um, was kind of not really sealed, didn't take to the records very well in one part of it, and then that when it just, just blew off as you saw it. So, <laughs> I do think that this come out pretty well. So I hope you like it. There we go, look at that. Ooh, groovy. By now, most of you have left uh, the channel because that's what kind of happens. And what happens is kind of like, I do tend to capture the audience quite well during the project. And the moment I start talking at the end, it goes, hmm? <laughs> that's basically what it does. Hmm? And you lot are supposed to like me waffling. Mm. So thank you for watching this one. If you did like this video, please could you share the video? That really, really does help me out and this channel and I'm really kind of fighting now to get to that 1 million subscribers. Uh, hit 850k the other day, so thank you to everyone that has helped support me and still watches me. I know not everyone watches me anymore. <laughs> it's difficult really because you see all these YouTube channels, they've got all these millions and millions of followers. But you only generally get kind of like a very small uh, kind of percentage watching. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way kind of like that it is really. I mean, if you think about all the accounts that you follow on Instagram and all the accounts that you follow on YouTube, you don't get to watch every single one of them. Um, so it's, it's a little bit kind of disheartening sometimes when you've got so many people that obviously came on board because of what you do um, and now no longer watch anymore. Basically, they've forgotten about you. They no longer know that you produce cool things. So that means they don't watch you or can even remember what you did. They probably don't even remember your name. Yeah, that's me <laughs> I'm talking about. Uh, but there we go. I try and capture as many uh, of the old audience as I can. That's why when you share the video, it kind of gets a little bit further down the, the food chain as such. I don't know if that's the right word or not, it probably isn't. It kind of gets a little bit further down the chain of the belt of the, I don't know. Uh, so if you could do that, that would be really helpful. Anyway, please check out all the links below. There's loads of links in there that help you out, where I get my music from, my sponsor. Grab yourself a ticket to Make It Central. I'll be there. If you're still watching me by then, that is. And loads of other things that might be useful to you. Please follow me on Instagram. I'll be doing a giveaway soon. I managed to get to the 50,000, yes. <laughs> that I've been trying to get there for six years. Six years. Uh, finally got to 50,000, so I'll be doing some giveaways. I'm just trying to work out you know, what to do. I'll probably do a couple uh, of giveaways on there, but you have to be following me on here, obviously, and you have to be following me on Instagram and on Facebook to be eligible. Oh, someone made me this. Hello, my name's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, before I forget, Eric, Eric Klecker, 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 I don't know. Klecker. Happy birthday from Carolyn and me. And a little hello to Skylar. Skylar. Sound like something out of Star Wars. Skylar, you are my father. Skylar. I am your father. Right, enough of the weirdness. I'll love you and leave you. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, 